New tonight, this is a scene we've seen far too often this year. Deadly wrong way crashes. Now the state is making a big investment to prevent them. News 12 Connecticut's John Craven says they're hoping to save lives. Monica Wilson was about to celebrate her 42nd birthday. She was a beautiful person. She always opened her arms. She always said hello. Instead, she died in a violent crash on Route 8, hit by a van driving the wrong way. Wilson, one of 20 people already killed this year. And all those in favor say aye. 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 So today, the State Bond Commission approved $20 million to address the problem. The state is installing 16 wrong way detection systems at high risk exits. Those include Route 8 in Derby, I-84 in Southbury, and I-91 in New Haven. A pilot program in Danbury already caught 30 wrong way drivers. Here's how it works. A 360 degree camera will detect if somebody gets on the highway going the wrong direction. Then warning lights will go off hopefully getting the driver's attention. States like Florida are going even further. Wrongway arrow markings are being placed with these reflective markers on the pavement surface. Wrongway drivers also trigger an overhead warning sign. The measures are working. In its first year, Rhode Island prevented 47 wrongway drivers. Most wrongway crashes are drunk drivers. The DOT is increasing funding for checkpoints but state police are still short hundreds of troopers. Over the last year, we've got uh, the state police. They're beginning to, um, you know, they're, they're making the stop. All that comes too late for Monica Wilson. You're taking innocent people's lives, taking mothers from kids. Kids who will never see their mother again. John Craven, News 12, Connecticut.